today we're going to make a moisturizing cream for your face. Face moisturizing cream. Here's <laughs> now we're going to be using our... They're just like glad tins that are like oval shape, I guess. They're small. Like I wanted the, like some pretty small. So, just like that. Anything that like that or look over. Oh, I have another thing that might work. It's like a small container. Like this, like a small round one, but we only had one, so it was kind of unfair for one person to have a little more. So we have to use these. Whoa! So we're gonna use these ones. Okay, so the ingredients you need are well, actually, first you'll need a tool, which is a spoon. This is Sarah. Oops, my hair is messed up. And then you take some sunscreen, any kind. Um, moisturizing creams. I have um, one from Cataphil and a Eucerin, maybe? Yeah, yes. And this one is a thicker consistency, and this one's a thinner one. That's why we have two. And here's the Chinese cherry blossom. <laughs> Stop. Japanese cherry blossom. <laughs> Chinese cherry blossom. Okay. So, and that's for the smell. Yeah, just for the smell. So it smells good. And then, oh, the sunscreen is just like a extra aloe and vitamin E, um, non-greasy, like, I don't know, like a non-greasy extra thing. Okay, so first we're gonna open up our tub. And we can push our caps to the side because we don't need them. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to take this moisturizing cream and she's gonna take that moisturizing cream to start and we're both gonna put some in. We Basically, you oh, just need a spoonful. So yeah, about in this side. And keep the spoon that you use per. And, ooh, if you're using, like, say, here, open the cap. Okay. If you're using um, this, I'm going to leave this spoon in here. She's not going to take it out and put it in the next one because they're a different consistency. She's just going to leave it like that. Okay, so this one's thicker, and you can see it showing how thin so, that one is. Yeah, tip it. That one's thinner, and this one's thicker. So, and this is about all you need. A little more, probably. Like, yeah. basically like that much. Like a big spoon. Can you help me get this off? It's like, this one's like, I don't know, almost like that sour cream. It's like a marshmallow kind of sour cream is what it looks like. Okay. Okay. So that's how much I have. Here, you can take that. Okay, so I have this much of the thicker, and she has that much of the thinner. Okay, now we're going to trade, and I'm going to take the thinner, and she's going to take the thicker. Wait, are you sure that's the thinner? Yeah. Okay, it's the thinner. And now we're just going to add, I'm going to add about the same amount that she added. Mine. Holy. And it's dead. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to wait for her to finish real quick. This stuff is really thick. Oh, and um, napkins. Messy. So about that. This side is the thin and this side is the thick. Mm -hmm. And napkins, when you like put things in and they get around the side, you can just like clean it out of the side. If you want, you don't really have to, but... Okay, so we have about an equal amount here. This is hers, that's mine. They're, hers is a little more spread out than mine, so it looks like there's less, but not really. Now we're going to take the non-greasy sun lotion, and we're just going to add big, a big lump of that. The swirly thing on top. So it's like that. So you want just like a big um, that lump. Yeah, should I show you hers. This is what she did too. So about this creamy stuff right there, that. So now we have all that in there. And then just a little bit of the lotion because you don't want it too smelly. Oh, and these spoons, you're gonna wanna take back out of your thing and apply one for each thing. So like I'm using the spoon out of the one for mine, and she's gonna use the other one. I'll do the other one. For okay, so here's the lotion in that little corner over there. Kind of, it's kind of pinkish. How much did you got? That. Okay. So not too much. Well, you kind of want an overpowering smell that's not that's over what that other stuff is. So I use kind of a lot, depending on how scented you want it to be. And if it isn't, and that, scent all that is pink stuff that looks kind of like yogurt. And if it if it isn't as scented as you want it to be, you can always add more. Now okay. you, you can stir that up. I'm going to look through here because it is true that a lot of dairy products are just with different things. Add a little milk. Not milk. 
So this okay. was in the fridge, so it's just like a cool consistency. Here is, here it is mixed up. That's hers. It looks a little clumpy, but just keep stirring and add just a little bit of that. Or a lot. <laughs> it depends. It's all your preference on how much of each you think. So I'm just adding that. Okay, to now, make like a greenish. Now because it's green, I want to add more pink on it so that it smells a little bit better. This could be good for your sunburn too because it has sunscreen and aloe. Yeah. So it's super good and moisturizing. So that's, we really took into consideration like what you would do on a daily basis and how it will be good for your skin first before we like put anything on. Oh, and be careful not to get this product in your eyes. That's yes. one question that people might. Like you can put put it on your cheeks and under your chin and nose, but don't go in the eye. Anymore. And forehead and stuff. Just no. Okay, so it smells good. Now I have all that all mixed together. So now I'm gonna chunk it up like this and mix it up. Mine's more of a watery consistency than hers is, so it depends on your preference. Like I said, if you want a more milky one like mine, then go ahead and use more milk. The more Mine's not that, really like, milky, it's just like, look at the difference. Hers is harder than mine. It's like, it's like this. It's like a droopy consistency. These are like similar. But they have different things in them to make them that way. Okay. It's whatever you want it to be. Just mix these ingredients. Oh, and like I was talking to Andy about here, um, the fruit thing. Fruits are very moisturizing to your face. But I believe that milk clogs the pores. So I don't think, I wouldn't suggest putting milk in it. But, like, I heard bananas are super good for your face and grains and things like that. Just really super good for your face. So, that's all that. Alright, and I don't know how the consistency is, but now that I have about that much, I'm going to add a little bit more of things to make it a little less of a thin consistency. Is this the thicker one or the thinner? Thin. I'm the thicker one then. So, this is the thicker one. Okay, so... Here's mine, I added a little bit more aloe to it. I gotta wipe it's, off my spoon real quick. It's, it's getting thinner as I'm mixing it. So I'm just taking a big chunk of it. And then this is like the sour cream consistency. It's like sour cream, really. Isn't it? Kind of. That's how I think of it. Like, look, it looks like sour cream. Or white stuff. Or like that jiffy or whatever. Like marshmallow fluffs. Fluff? Yeah. Like that. Makes me want to eat that. Oh, I almost ate that. I know. I almost did too. I like put it towards my face. Like it was on that. I almost went. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not making anything to eat. Not today, anyway. But her kitchen was just remodeled, so it's really beautiful in here. Okay, so now I have all that on top. I'm just going to mix it up. To make it the thicker consistency. Well, you have a lot in yours. I have only. You can add more. I know. Add a little just, more, like. No, I don't want to add anything because I don't want to use all of that stuff. You won't use all of it. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody, I will. <laughs> okay. So. I like the consistency of hers. It's very creamy and natural. Mine's more chunky and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like cottage cheese, but creamy. So, what did you suggest that I put in mine to make it a little more like yours? A little more. Keep stirring, because mine was a bit clumpy at first, too. So, I'm just going to keep stirring. How long is this video? Nine mm. minutes. I'm going to add my lotion. It all is your preference on how much you stir, how much how you like it, how much you want in it, what you want in it, um, things like that. We'll probably make a fruit one too sometime. Oh, we don't have fruits right we'll now. We'll have to see how this goes first. Yeah. 
Ooh, this could be like good for like spas and in, in stuff like if you like get out of the shower and like put it's like that guacamole stuff. And you put like cucumbers on your eyes and stuff. This could be good for it too. Is this like a good consistency or do you think it should be more pudding and like that? Pudding ish. See mine's kinda of So this is mine too. so far. So it's like kinda like it's creamy in real life, but it's like really chunky too. It's not really chunky, not as chunky as it was before, but I'm just gonna keep whipping it around. And you need to add more of yours because you don't have that much. I don't wanna use that much. I'm gonna add a little more scent to it. You know what? You should add more sunscreen. It's like a little bit. There's more kinds if you want. Okay, so I'm going to put some sunscreen in just to make it a little more watered out. Here's mine, and I'm going to try it. Oh boy, here we go. Now, I'm only going to use about that much just to see maybe How does it feel? Than that feels creamy looks kind of like a mint doesn't it a mint here's about how much i'm gonna use now i'm gonna put it on my cheeks here cheeks about right there and around and about right here i like that consistency what <laughs> and maybe on your chin just places you want. If you have like acne or something like that and you just kind of want to moisturize your face, make it really moisturized before you go to school or whatever, before you apply your foundation, whatever your case is. I'm going to throw out my spoon with my, along with my dirty napkin because I don't need it. Now you can put this on before you get in the shower and then just wash or after it off. you get in the shower and then just rub it off with a wet washcloth. How's it feel? Nice. Good? Alright, so I will show you the results. Hers is like a little more thin than mine, and mine's like a little thicker. This is mine. But it's all based on your preference. She liked it thinner, I like it thicker. I just like the feeling of the thicker. I don't like the milky consistency. I like more of a something to grasp onto before I put it on, like all that. And stuff like that. So, there it is. Have, yeah, so, and you wash it off, by the way. It's not really greasy or anything. Yeah. It's clean. So, it's just like any other face moisturizer. Make sure if you use like a home tub like this or something, and you're going to put it in your bathroom, I would suggest like, it's not good to keep makeup in your bathroom or anything, but if you're going to put it in your room or something, and you're afraid that your little brothers or sisters will get it, or your older brother and sister, I would, oh, excuse me, I would definitely take a permanent marker and write face cleanser or something of that sort on it so that nobody tries to take it. Oh yeah, I did that one too. <laughs> These are very, like, not very hard You can, like, shake them around a little bit, however you want to. So this is our results. And, and mine is still on, and I'll wash it off and you. It's very creamy. It blends in with your skin a lot. And don't leave this on while you're at school, because it makes your face, like, look greasy. I know it has, like, the grease and stuff, but it makes it very greasy. Even if you put the foundation over it, it's just going to make your foundation very greasy and not... Blend in well with your face because the color of that is going to kind of counteract with the foundation and it will kind of change the um, consistency and the color of your foundation just a little bit. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this is an easy to do.